Now, over the past month, we've learned a lot of things about Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Beast himself, what side of the bed he likes to sleep on, how he likes to brush his teeth, what's his favorite dessert, how many push-ups he likes to do every day, and how many shits he takes on daily basis and over the past three days i haven't opened up the internet for the for obvious reasons and just this morning i opened it up and with no surprise i was slapping new information about mr jimmy and a month from now mark my words me and you will know mr jimmy better than he knows himself he's gonna come out and be like my favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla we are going to be like no bitch your favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate and he's gonna think about it for like a few seconds and gonna be like how did you know? And you're going to look him in the eye and say, me and Kush talked about you for hours and hours over the past few months. Now, with this information, we know J Jimmy's underwear size. We know Jimmy's uh, cucumber size. We know J we know Jimmy's how, what position is his favorite chakalaka momo. We know a lot of things and there's more information that came out. This is what we're going to talk about today, which is an alleged contract that was leaked by Rosanna. She made a whole 20-something YouTube video about it, going through what... And most important parts, but there's a 36 page document that got allegedly leaked. We don't know if it's confirmed or not, but let me tell you a little bit about Miss Rosanna so you have a little bit of context about what is exactly going on. Two years ago, Rosanna was in a Mr. Beast video, which I'm not very sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but she got top three Mr. Beast video. And Mr. Beast decided to cut her out completely. That led her to burst out go into internet and just rant about how evil mr beast is and how he replaced me because of blah 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 now jimmy's situation wasn't like 2024 he responded back he tried to talk to them and she later on came and posted this i would like to apologize to mr beast i should have expressed my feelings privately and handled things directly i will be removing all the posts where i talk about creator games and jimmy she went on and said on how mr jimmy's fans just attacked her and just threatened her basically two years later she hit mr beast with the underwear situation jimmy's production team took every contestant's underwear and medicine from them for some weird reasons they were told they would be given back each night to change, but were not. Multiple female contestants messaged me saying the Mr. Beast Games still has her underwear. Disgusting. Now with Jimmy smiling and his eyes having no expression at all, I won't be surprised if he's in the underwear game. Maybe, maybe he's a king. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe the production team is in some weird games. Or maybe the person who, was, who told Rosanna in the first place about this whole thing is lying. This is the thing about the Rosanna situation. So basically, she went on in a YouTube video like a couple of weeks ago and she started ranting about Mr. Beast about how evil he is. Now, the reason she stopped back in 2022 is because everyone was against her. Now that everyone is against Mr. Beast, she saw an opportunity to empty herself and open up her DMs to all the alleged victims who were part of this Mr. Beast games and were treated evilly and the people who also work at Mr. Beast. So she opened up her DMs to all these people, and a lot of people have been sending DMs about their experiences. Some with proof, some with words. But unlike Dogpack 404, she just says words. She does not actually prove anything. And a lot of people are like, what if the other people who used to work for Mr. Beast are current or current currently are working for Mr. Beast and are snitching on him or under NDAs? And they are not allowed to speak about this. Let's say they're under NDA. When you show us proof of these things, you don't have to show us their name or their situation. Now, maybe Jimmy's team or Jimmy's team can figure out who these people are because, you know, they've been there in this type of situations. They know who this person are, which is very unlikely. But let's say if they are, the things that you are saying is obviously breaking the law. Breaking bones during the Mr. Beast games, hosting Hunger Games, this shit is illegal. So that breaks the NDA. You can speak about it. But maybe there's more reasons to it. I'm not going to just jump the gun that fast. Maybe there is some reasons to it. Let's just go forward. But I believe she needs to provide more evidence than just accuse someone of Jimmy likes sniffing underwears or Jimmy's team is weird. Shit like that. The leaked documents are basically for the people who are currently at Mr. Beast team or they want to join Mr. Beast team. And this is type of a, like a motivational thing, I would say, for the employees, which is... Jimmy is really bad at motivational speak, and you will find out why. A section he titles, I only want A players. As I type this, I realize it may not be the wisest to categorize everyone into three buckets. But this is how I believe we should look at everyone a part of the production team. So basically, he already knows what he's about to say is inappropriate, but he can't help himself from doing it and saying it. You're either an A player, B player, or C player. 
There is only room at this company for A players. A players are obsessive, learn from mistakes, coachable, intelligent, don't make excuses, believe in YouTube, see the value of this company, and are the best in the goddamn world at their job. B players are new people that need to be trained into A players, and C players are just average employees. They don't suck, but they aren't exceptional at what they do. Okay. <laughs> As he's saying, they don't suck, but they aren't exceptional. He misspells aren't. The hypocrisy. Let's move on. They just exist, do whatever, and get a paycheck. They aren't obsessive, aren't spelled wrong again. C players are poisonous and should be transitioned to a different company immediately, all caps. It's okay, we give everyone severance, so they'll be fine. I don't even know where to begin with this because he essentially is putting everyone into a system and he definitely plays favorites at his company. Page 18, nothing comes before your priorities. When you're being assigned tasks, you should have what I call a prio list. If Ali says your prios are to, one, get a Lamborghini under 200K, two, get it wrapped in anime characters, Three, make a custom steering wheel. Then nothing on this freaking planet is allowed to come between you and getting those priorities done. If the other team asks for your help and you spend two days helping them and fall behind on getting your Lamborghini secured, that's your fault. If the studio is burning down and you stop working to put out the fire and don't get the Lamborghini, that's your fault. Parentheses, jokes, ha ha ha. But seriously, don't let anything come before your prios. Um, I'm just gonna read that again for anyone who is missing this. If the studio is burning down and you stop working to put out the fire and you don't get the Lamborghini, that's your fault. That's wrong. This is psychotic, this is dangerous. He's literally saying that the company culture is if the studio with employees is burning down, you should not go help and save their lives. You should go wrap that car with anime characters. That is the number one priority. This way of thinking is psychotic. This is dangerous, it is absolutely unacceptable now, i'm pretty sure rosanna herself knows that this was a hypothetical statement like i believe she's overreacting in this situation i believe it is a big deal but it is not a big big deal no way a company make their workers work overtime and they don't give them holidays and they stay in the office for christmas yeah this shit happens to a lot of people now another thing was added to the list of getting to know mr beast that he is a shitty motivational talker Yes, he says, I want A players. I want A players. B players, C players, average. Do not come to the Beast Company if you're just going to do your 9 to 5. I need you all in Beast mode. 9 to 5? Fuck that. 9 to 9. There is no time limit on this company and you're going to work so hard for this. Now, if you have your own company, you understand. If you do not do not have your own company, just think of it this way. It is something yours. Your Whatever work, whatever amount of time you put on it, there's not a fixed salary on this. The more you work, the more you grow, the more you make money. That is everyone's goal. Now, now, this doesn't go only for Mr. Beast. A lot of companies make their employees work overtime and stay in for Christmas in the office and, you know, the rest. Now, for her going to be like, oh, my God, that is so bad. Fire Lamborghini. How dare you? You should save others and you should save the cat, the homeless person who was in that warehouse sleeping there. Save them. I believe this is overreacting. And I believe, yes, it is wrong by Mr. Beast are treating all the employees as if it is their company and they will gain salary or a very, very big fat check bonus from this i believe no you should do your time once you're done good to go you do overtime you get paid for it and you should have the option now if a company has a lot of pressure on you i'm sure you can figure out to find other jobs if you can't i guess you just gotta do what you gotta do like i used to have a nine to five before i'm talking to a client 4 59 p.m hey such a beautiful choice we will not make you regret it you you are in great hands fucking 5 p.m ding bye bitch and the funny thing is this is all alleged this is not even confirmed this is not we're not even sure if this is mr beast's documents but she had no reason to lie whatever she came forward she experienced it but now she is blindly reading the people who came forward and leaked these things and shared their statements about their experience with mr beast 
Now, she might not know that some might be false. She might see proof. We don't know what's behind the curtains. We're just going over the alleged things that happen on the 17th page of this document it says that if you want to join this team you need to know about this owning your mistakes now jimmy i don't know if you did this or not this, obviously this is all alleged but if you did jimmy what the fuck how do you expect people to own their mistakes if you do not own your mistakes i'm just saying i hate excuses and i despise my entire soul when people just try to save face instead of learn from how they messed up Making mistakes are okay. Genuinely, they are. And I expect you to make a lot. That's perfectly fine. Every veteran has cost me a million dollars at one point or another. You can go ask them yourself if I held that over their heads. Well, props to you, Jimmy, if you actually didn't hold it over their heads. But if someone cost me a million dollars, I will slap their dogs. And I'm okay with fuck-ups is because I know how. that's how you learn. I see that as investing in you and your brain. Hence, I have zero tolerance for C players. This is the average people who just come to 9 to 5 and they must go immediately. Those fuck-ups could be done by an A player that will retain the information learned. I just beg of you to learn from every single mistake and try not to repeat it. That's when it gets annoying and I'm never ever ever once fired someone on the spot for messing up. You have nothing to be afraid of on your shit so we can address how to fix it and then move on i don't really see a problem with this now another important part in this document it says no does not mean no i'm pretty sure you've heard something about it if you don't know what's going on jimmy basically says if you go to a spot to shoot some content and if the if the security is saying no you cannot shoot here without a permit no does not mean no go around it go jump over the fence do whatever you gotta do tmz that shit and get the content so no does not mean no and i think that's a problem because those people can get arrested the people who the securities were supposed to not allow anyone without a permit those people are, jobs are going to be at risk they have families to feed and it's a very irresponsible thing for jimmy to say everything in this situation should go legally forward and do not risk anyone's job just because you want to get that piece of content no matter what does not mean it is worth other people's jobs and this document apparently jimmy decided to do some random things you should know about the company he says do not leave contestants waiting in the sun ideally waiting in general for more than three hours squid game it costs five hundred thousand dollars on boys versus girls it got a lot of people out i hate having tons of people on set if someone is necessary then that's fine but if not kick them off the set or go have them watch watch it behind a monitor create an environment where the contestants are also feel natural i'd rather you be honest with each other than nice to each other see this is why i think we need to see if this is actually mr beast's statement motivational thing for the company or not because there's a lot of spelling problems in this situation be honest with each other than then the t-h-e-n it is t-h-a-n it's either jimmy never finished third grade or someone else put this and it's claiming to be jimmy my English is my third language and I know what the difference is between then and then. I want money spent to be shown on camera. Ideally, if you're spending over $10,000 on something it and it won't be shown on camera, seriously, think about it. This section, it says work with intensity, push outwards, not inwards. Pull all nighters weeks before the shoot so you don't have to days before the shoot. If something goes wrong on the shoot, always check to see if it can be made into content that's basically every youtuber i don't see anything pro any problem with this a tree falls over your on your car breaks like 100 bases we need it we need it to give away question mark that's fucking hilarious and we should mention it in the video lol basically everything is content just like every influencer content creator youtuber out there hey guys i just took the big fat juiciest shit ever and i, I and i thought it would be a great thing to show you that's every youth i'm not it's just me that's the only thing i do but that's mainly how youtubers are anything happens your girlfriend fucks another guy i can't believe she did it and now i'm going to sit in front of the camera and talk about it for 10 minutes content that's basically every youtuber's mindset now he goes on and he says that work with you know planet pull all nighters walk over time work over time work over time work over time and i think that's a very unhealthy thing to do even for people who do have their own company yes it is important to work very hard but it is also important to balance life with work the reason why another fact that another reason why mr beast x maddie that we talked about in the last video left him is because of this life work situation he wanted to be such a big YouTuber that he didn't have time for his girlfriend. Also, KSI, I believe a few months ago or a few years ago, I saw a video of him. The reason why his relationships towards the beginning of his career and midway throughout his career didn't work is because 
of work life balance there was no balance between them i'm too busy to have a relationship right now like next year i'm going to la and then i'm going on tour in the uk and then i'm going on tour in europe and doing all these things you know work wise and i'm like when am i gonna find time to see her when am i gonna have time to you know properly be with her i just thought it's not fair on on her and i knew she was getting agitated over it. And she just works a normal nine to five job. I think it's absolutely fine if you want to work towards your goals, your company as hard as you want, but it is not fair for the, comp the employees to pull all nighters every single night. It's not fair to them. And obviously if they put under pressure and they are being threatened to lose their jobs, if they don't, because they will be C players, it's not a good thing. To, it's a messed up thing to do. But is it cancelable? Not really. In my opinion, that just means he's a shitty boss. In page number 34, he says it is okay for the boys to be childish. If Talon wants to draw a cucumba on a whiteboard in a video, do something stupid, let them. Assuming they know all the risks and aren't missing context on why it's not safe. People like when people are in their natural element, stupidity. Really do everything you can to empower the boys when filming and help them make content. Help them be idiots. We don't fake things, sure, Jimmy. Make sure to prep contestants and try to create an environment where they feel comfortable talking. If you wrote a banger piece of content, but it is a 50-50 chance of it working, write another piece of content. Content is unlimited. Don't be lazy. Run your content by many people as possible for inspiration on how you could make it even better. It is true Mr. Beast spent like 1.7 million once on one video and he deleted it because it didn't do well or he didn't like it midway. And there are situations where he gave it to Ludwig because he didn't like the video. It sucks, but it is what it is. I want famous people in our videos. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But apparently, Rosanna has a lot of issues with these things, which I don't really understand. This is my just my opinion. You might have a problem with it. You might not. And like I said, we can have different opinions. It's completely fine. I just don't see any issues with that. Besides the point that you make, you put so much pressure on your employees and you just push them as if it is their company working on yes they would like to get promoted yes they would like to uh, be in a better position with better pay but from the sound of it if this whole document is true it seems like you are just pushing them threatening their jobs if they don't do it right because they'll be C players and i think that's very fucked up i'd like to add something to the we don't fake videos anyone i'll tell you from now anyone who starts the video hey guys welcome back to my channel this is day 44 of me sitting in front of uh, whatever the fuck it is. The people go on on a rant of whenever they put this whole personality on. They're faking shit. I'll tell you from now. The, the whole, even the personality, not even the video. The whole personality is fake. Some of the videos might not be fake, but them themselves are a fake person themselves. That's why I never watch anyone who starts the video going by. Hey guys, welcome back to my... I just don't like it. I believe Jimmy started all natural started as himself but over time where his company got big and he hired people and everyone started writing his script and he saw the views and he saw what was working that is when the fake persona came in i believe that's what happened in this situation and he lost the authentic authenticity hole in his personality and in his videos honestly as long as he doesn't tickle cupcakes i'll be okay with it but that text message that was fucked up some of the things he did in his games rigging the whole game being favored it just ruins the whole competition the whole video for all of us it needs to be a mystery on who's going to win not the one with the biggest reaction and you tell the production team make him win make make him win it just ruins the whole authenticity of the whole uh challenge they whatever the challenge you're having and this document some things are wrong some things are not really that big of a deal it's just a shitty boss and we still don't know if this whole thing is confirmed or not. Just speaking out of her ass right now because Rosanna decided to. And I believe towards the beginning with Dog Packs 404 video, for example, and the text messages that got leaked by Nathan between Mr. Beast, uh, Mr. Chris Tyson, and all these people, I believe the situation was serious then. And a few times later on, especially with the, when Mr. Beast hired a offender, registered offender, these things were serious things. Other things are people adding right now is just joining the trend but with most of the things that are coming against mr beast right now it is just people jumping on the trend mr beast evil because 
He handshaked with his left hand instead of his right hand. Oh my god, cancel, cancel, cancel. But yeah, I just thought I'll share this information if you haven't been updated. I think the next video I'll make about Mr. Beast, it is going to be when some serious bombs start dropping towards him, which I highly doubt that he won't. It 100% will. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the future. Now, you know one more thing. You know a few more things about Mr. Beast now. If it is true or not. Alleged, allegedly, allegedly. Please don't swim me. Thank you very much. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like it, share it, subscribe it. You know the rest. I'll catch you at the next one.